Hello beautifuls, my name is Epic Treasure and this video today is an amazing tutorial on how to get all the coloured hair dyes at Dragon Stockma. If you like what you see, come like and subscribe and hit the notification button to know when a new video is up and when I'm live. So that being said, today I'm getting you all these dyes. We've got the reds, zoom out a little bit. Uh, we've got all the sort of pinky colour, the purples, oh I love that red, the greens, look at them, isn't that wild? And not only are they the hair dyes, but they're also the makeup too, and the skin colour, and the markings. Look at it, isn't this crazy? Look at the yellow one and then we're sort of teetering into all of the sort of uh, ginger areas too and then going down to the yellows and the limes and oh my God, and my favourite is the purples where you can have graduated colours too so you can have half purple and half aqua, teal, whatever. Um, so there's some of the little samples. So I'm going to have a whole video that showcases every colour because I know some of you love that kind of stuff. So first things first, You'll need only a couple of things for this trip. Number one, you'll need a jail key and you probably already got one of those. If you don't, uh, a jail key will cost you about 300 gold from the location we're going to. So you probably got enough stuff to sell off at this point anyway. Um, but you probably already have a jail key. Uh, you can get them all over the place. That and also the dyes themselves are 500 rift crystals each. Um, and that should be pretty easy to come by um, just by your PAWN being hired out in the rift. And they're also scattered uh, amongst many um, chests in the game too. So we're going to exit without making any changes and let us begin our journey. Much obliged, sir. So the location that we're going to today, and I'm sure you've seen on many other tutorials, it's just like if you want dyes, go to Bakpatal. Uh, yes, but what's going to happen is you're going to cart your booty all the way down to Bakpatal. You're going to get to a gate and the dude is going to be like, the dude at the gate here at the checkpoint rest town is going to be like, do you have a permit? And then you'll say no and he'll say, we'll see you later then. And then you're going to have to cart your booty all the way back and do all the questing for it. But I am not going to make you do that because I have found the best way to do it. So first things first, we're going to go around and catch this ox cart. And the ox cart is going to take us to Rest Town. That's what we're going to do. You don't need any permits or any of this Harry Potter stuff. I'm going to take you straight there. So... I don't even know where the guy is. I think he's on the other side. Is he hiding? There you are, sneaky I'm not pants. Taking any passengers. All right. When he says he's not taking any passengers, go sit on. You don't have to go sit on the seat. You can just press this weight ox cart, and it'll fade to black, and I'll be like, "Oh, I'm ready to go now." It just really depends on the time of day. So he should be ready now. Let us move over. This ox cart's bound. I'll need to see some coins. And we'll pay him on. a measly 200 gold. That's what you'll need to. And then we're going to sit and go for a ride. Now, what you can do, obviously, is doze off. Um, and sometimes you'll get ambushed by goblins on the way, which is nice because then you get some bonus money. But sometimes, like now, it's taking a few seconds. So we're going to be, yes, ambushed. And then we just get our money anyway. Let's go grab these fools. I love being the thief, I can tell you right now. Look at that, big deal. Uh, let's go. Back on the cart. Take a seat and catch your ride and go to sleep. So we're going to end up at Rest Town. And we're going to do something that's sneaky in a moment. So we're still riding along. You can jump off now and run up the hill. But what we're going to do is we're going to sit on a seat and pass some time. But first I want to take you to the vendor that sells the keys in case you don't have it. I've got everybody covered here. This is taking too long. Let's just get out. <laughs>
So get your jail key if you don't have one already. And see the truth for yourself. Many thanks to you. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to where we were and we're going to move out of my way and we're going to take a seat here, okay? Now some people might like to sleep to sort of speed time up, but we don't really need to. You can see the ox cart there. What we basically have to do is wait till it's afternoon. So we're going to doze off until that ox cart is nowhere to be seen. So right now we can see the ox cart still there. We're going to sit down again and doze off until the ox cart is vanished. So it is still there. And it's usually the afternoon that you need to uh, wait till for that other special carriage to come. So we see the ox cart there again. This is why people sleep at the inn, but I'm trying to save lots of gold um, for this trip. Now that it's afternoon, we're going to go all the way down here and we're going to cross the bridge. And across the bridge, there's going to be a carriage that appears. And we need to escort the carriage over the bridge so it does not despawn. If we just see it and then just keep running back over, the original ox cart will start to appear there and then this one will despawn. So we don't want that to happen. But while we're waiting, while it starts to move, we can quickly go grab this um, this golden beetle too. So I'm going to just grab it real quick. As this thing travels. So a little bit of a rundown on what's going to happen with this. This carriage is going to travel up this road all the way up around the outside, all the way to the top of... Uh, the hill where we can see that big gate up there and that big gate has a beast room up there and the beast room will tell you no you're not coming in you need a permit there's um, tutorials out there that tell you that you can get through by wearing a beast room mask it does not work you can wear a beast room mask go talk to him he'll still tell you to piss off so um, the way that we're going to do this is through illicit means we're going to get to achievements on the way also and that is literally by hiding inside this carriage. So one dilemma that I have with this particular run is that if you have a healer, in this case, my PAWN that will keep running away from me, continually heals me in this upcoming fight. And the upcoming fight is for us to be arrested. That's why we got the jail key. Um, so we want to be arrested but they have to basically you know knock you around until they can arrest you and the worst thing you can possibly have is a healer on the way so we'll just say bye to her for a little while and we'll get her back later um the the pawns do fight um in this and it can drag it out to the point where there's no guards left so if you've got ex especially very strong pawns you might want to just uh, dismiss them like I did to my character, if you want to. And we might turn down that sound. That'll do. And while we're right, while we're waiting. We're going to go up and grab um, three chests that are up here because that um, carriage just takes a little while to come up the hill. So up we go over here and then we're going to get one, two, three chests. So let's for a moment, even though she's carrying, <laughs> carrying my P-A-W-N, I've got to say P-A-W-N because I'm Australian and how we pronounce it is P-O-R-N and that's not good for the algorithm. Um, so... Let's just role play if you were to come up here because you've gone, oh, God damn, I want this, this hair dye that I read about. I need to go to Batal because that's where it is. That's where I read it's from. Oh, Batal's all the way down there that you've trekked on, your f on foot and then you end up getting to this gate and so, this is what happens. You seek to enter, but leave this place at once. And then he gets like crazy. So we don't want that. So this is a way to do it. And we really need our healer to, to have a little bit of a sleep for a while. Just 
Just for a while. So we're going to get inside this carriage and the first gate's going to open, then the second gate's going to open. That's the point that two of your achievements will pop. Your first achievement will be crossing the border or, or the other one is to get across the border through illicit means, which is hiding in this carriage. So come in here, jump in this carriage and just stay in there. The, the driver of it will say to you, get out, just don't listen to him. Nothing's going to happen. So he's going to have a chit chat and then the gate's going to open and then we're going to go through. Achievement's going to pop. The guards are on the other side. We're going to um, be arrested by the guards, like I said, but don't fight them. You can sure pull your weapon out to sort of antagonize them if you have to, but they will really mess you up to the point you think they're actually going to destroy you, but they don't actually. You might get to like a tiny bit of health and then they'll just put your hands behind your back and then send you off to jail to the exact place you want to go to. Then we're going to escape jail in the exact location um, where we're going to get our dyes from. The things we do for this beauty. So we're nearly there. Our healer is gone, so this should, in theory, be very quick. There is one thing to grab in this area too. So we can get out about now. And I'm going to go quickly grab this. Um, there's a camping kit over here. And then we're just going to get destroyed because we don't have a healer anymore. But if, yeah, if you do have a healer, sh she's just going to keep on going nuts. I had to hold her down for a while just so she would stop doing it to me. So effective. Don't forget to hire her. My uh, gamer tag is Epic Treasure on Xbox. Here we go. We get a sliced up. You think I'm going to drop D, E, A, D, but I'm not. You watch. Here comes the arrest. And down on the ground. She'll get up a bit and then they'll come arrest her. There we go. So off we go to jail and then we're going to use our key. There's going to be some really cool collectible things along the way um, that we'll pull up at Bakwatal Jail. Here we are. Let's have a little look at the view first before we exit. Isn't it pretty? And we'll get all of our items back. Don't worry about that. I don't know what that expression is. But anyway, you can bribe the... Um, the guard there, but he's very expensive. We don't want to do that. I don't know why she's doing this face. Because she's quite injured, actually. <laughs> um, but we'll get all of our stuff back as we run through. Don't even look at her. As we run through this place. I can see shiny under there. That's handy. We will just heal ourselves. Anyway. <sighs> oh. And there's another makeshift jail key. You get it back. That's handy, isn't it? All right, let's continue this journey that takes us through the whole entire jail system, which is not that big, um, and then over to get our dyes to the vendor there. So right now we're going to escape this jail, and um, these guys can catch you straight away, or you can get lucky like I did the first time and just go for it. And just run, 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 run. And on the way through, you're going to get all your items back and nearly. Now, the thing that's probably holding you down if you've got too much stuff is probably the um, camping kit. And then you'll just be heavy. Don't forget to turn your lantern on the way. Just run, run, run. There's going to be items that you can collect along the way, um, whether they be in chests, etc. Grab them if you want, because the guards are unlikely to chase you. But if you just want to get the hell out, then just keep going and come back later. So I'm running, 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 running. And up the hill... 
All right, we can put our other clothes on now. So we'll just go quickly grab this stuff. Equip, 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 equip. We can get rid of all this stuff. They've given us so many jail clothes. We're still heavy. That'll do though. I'm actually not sure. I'm not sure how much they actually sell for. Oh, what's going on? Equipped, equipped. Equipped. Oh, doesn't matter about the jacket thing. Good lord. All right, let's go. So we're gonna go along here. Um, actually. This room, yeah, I would check those two rooms out if I were you. So as soon as we come out here, we're going to go to the left. And then we're going to go over here. Right. And then we're going to go up these steps. Just keep running, running, running. And then we're going to go up this big um, circular stairwell. Type of with stairwell. But down here, I want to show you this really quickly. You can see that the skeleton down there. The skeleton has a seeker's token and also a wake stone down there. I'm not sure if it's a wake stone shard or a wake stone, but just go down there if you want to spend a little bit of time discovering this place. Um, there's heaps of stuff in here, um, but we're not going to be doing a whole tutorial on that. I'm just getting you straight to the hair dyes as quick as I possibly can without doing, you know, quests and being on foot the whole time. So it's nice to just get in this zone and get your stuff. So we're going to come up here. And then we're going to go over here. Uh, you could be pursued by these ladies. We're going to run down here. And you're going to keep on running. You're going to keep on running. You're going to keep on running. Sometimes you might be lucky and they might not attack you at all. The first time I did that, I did not get attacked at all. So I'm just going to get my stamina on. Stamina on, some food. And... Uh, that. And then let's just run. Alright, let's have a look at our bearings. We want to go all the way through to Bakpatal, so we're going to go straight through this road. Just keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. PAWNS have caught up with us now, except for you know who, who we had to sort of say bye to. That um, ox that you can see there is not functioning at the moment. So see how we're running straight through all this, be like you'll be able to discover this later, it's so pretty. So we run straight through, just straight line. She does have a broken leg or something like that. <laughs> Um, do I have any, do I have any good stuff? I don't think I do. Eat that, eat it till you're sick. <clears throat> so we keep running, 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 running. I'm going to run around this corner, around these stairs. She's a bit poisoned and messed up. Uh, but the first time I did this, it was fine. It was just a flawless run. Nobody... It slashed me with a sword or anything. So around here, past this little campfire thing up these steps, and we're going to be at the vendor right now. So. Are you well met, sir? How's the day? There's all of the dyes. So red dye, green dye, blue dye, yellow dye, and purple dye. All of these will be 500 rift crystals each. So don't forget to sleep at an inn. Um, and that's when your PAWN comes back and delivers the Rift Crystals to you um, from people who have hired you out. You now, please that? keep in mind, if nobody has hired Always your character out, then make sure that you go to your menu and click on System and Options and Network and make sure that your network features are on. Your main PAWN online access is anyone. Um so your your character can actually be hired out. Keep that in mind too. Um, so that's how you get it. And then we can go over to the, the barber and then start to have a look at um, all of the 
the hair settings that you can have and everything like that, which is very fun.